not be looking to buy first thing tomorrow morning, given how we close. Just no, yeah. let's give it a couple days. Yeah, seriously. Ebbs and flows, ebbs so, and flows. So top ideas are then sitting on your hands. I would say the top three I'm looking at is this AZO through 1160 in time. Again, not tomorrow, not this week, but whenever that flag's ready to break, um, I have no problem sneaking into that one. Um, this Live Nation through 48, verse 44, just kind of chopping around this little area. And then McDonald's through 190, verse 180. Again, if this comes pulls in the last couple, next couple of days into 170, no problem buying up with support, but just for now, the range has been in. I'd like to buy up through 190, but again, not tomorrow, not the next day. You want to give you know, the market some time, some breathing room. What about you, Shake? Um, so I, I, I like, there's a few names I like on the, uh, uh, I was gonna say this Abbott Labs, but uh, they have earnings. A lot of these things have earnings coming up. I, I'm, I'm most likely gonna, uh, not gonna have, not gonna be too, too active the rest of the week. You know, I don't really like a lot out there. With, judge after today's action. You know, we got a big warning shot of the market after a huge run up. Either we pull, you know, I think it's a viable dip still, but it looks like we're probably either testing this 310 in SPY or, or down to that 300 in SPY. So, um, you know, wait and see what the market gives us, but nothing I'm chomping at the bits over. I do like, um, there's a couple IPOs this week. What's it, uh, this Encino. I like this company a lot. Um, just a cloud player for banking software. I'm gonna be watching this one. I think they IPO either today or tomorrow. And then there's another one I put on the shakedown. I forget right now, but uh, whatever, not that important. Mm -hmm.